Hello and welcome. I am Julia and this is my Thermomix kitchen. And today I wanted to show you how to make a uh, quick and easy cake and I call it the Lickety Split Cake. And to get started with that we are going to use four eggs. There's only about six in, uh, eight ingredients in this cake uh, and then uh, about 200 grams of oil. So there's 200 grams of oil, uh, and I'm using a coconut oil, but you could use any other neutral tasting oil. And then the oil, and now we're going to add 160 grams of sugar, and I'm using a coconut sugar, but you could, you could use a regular brown sugar or a regular white sugar or even honey, but you might want to need it just for taste. And now we have a hundred grams of nuts, and I'm using uh, filberts or hazelnuts. But you could use almonds, walnuts, or pecans. So in they go. And then I'm going to add a banana, because that's what I happen to have on hand that day. And I'll just break that in a few pieces, toss that in. You could also use an apple. Uh, you probably want to core that before you add it, or uh, have one or two carrots, depending on size, and uh, you know, you could even mix or match. And then 100 grams of chocolate, and I'm using one of these European style chocolate bars that come in 100 gram packages, but you could use just 100 grams of chocolate chips or some other chocolate. And that's it for the first six ingredients. We're going to mix all of that up now. And so to mix it up, we're going to put on the lid and then give this a good whirl uh, for a minute on speed six. And I can never help myself. I always have to try and take a peek and see what's going on inside of that. Usually that means I create a bigger mess than I need to, but you know, so so be it. That's just that's just what I do. All right, there goes the minute, and there's my sound too. So as you could tell, I dupe over that beginning part. I forgot to turn the mic on. All right, and so this is what it looks like right now. It smells pretty interesting. Okay, so then we're gonna add 200 grams of flour and I'm uh, going gluten-free today, so I have this all-purpose gluten-free flour and five teaspoons of baking powder or a package of baking powder. They sell these packets in Europe of baking powder. So, and that goes. And then the recipe says you have to do this three times, three seconds. Three seconds, speed four. So that was the first time. Then three seconds, speed four. Number two. And three seconds, speed four. And that's that. Okay, so now I have prepared a uh, cake form with um, baking paper, parchment paper, and I'm going to pour that in here, and then it goes into the oven at 350 for about an hour until the uh, toothpick test comes back clean, and I will let you see what it looks like when I'm all done with it. So here's a picture of the cake. It tasted very delicious. I did have to put a cookie sheet underneath the cake pan because it was overflowing a bit and I wanted to prevent making a bigger mess in my oven. So be aware of that. And next time I will probably cook it a little closer to 75 minutes, at least in my oven. It seemed that the center was a little on the very moist side and I would want to uh, bake it a little longer to dry it out some more in the future. 
So thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share the video so others can find out how easy it is to make a cake in the Thermomix. Have a great day.